Hello friends, let us know about the church built in the year 52 AD in Kerala by St. Thomas the Apostle of India. Dear friends, welcome to my channel Shine Out Now and welcome again to this series of the history of Christianity in India. The first church was built in this place in the year 52 AD by the Apostle of India, St. Thomas. As all of you know that St. Thomas built seven churches in Kerala and this is the third among them. This place is now called as Vadakkan Paravur which means North Paravur. In olden days this place is mentioned as Kottakayal and Kottakavu in the pages of history. This place is located in the state of Kerala. This is 26 km away from the city Ernakulam and 48 km away from the city Trishur. Now what you are seeing is the renovated new church. The ancient churches and their leftover parts are at the back side of this church. We will see them later. This is the main altar and you can see the statues of Sacred Heart of Jesus and other saints here. This is the statue of Saint Sebastian next to the altar. And this is the picture of Mother of Perpetual Help. In front of the altar, we can see the beautiful paintings that explains about the main incidents of life of St. Thomas in India. Baptism of Brahmin Believers Raising the dead
This is the statue of Saint Thomas. In the first century, there were thousands of Jews lived in Kerala coastal region, and Saint Thomas came here to preach them the good news of Jesus, the awaited Messiah of Jews. Many of them believed and baptized by Saint Thomas. Not only Jews, so many Brahmins also accepted Jesus and got baptized. This is the statue of St Thomas touching the pierced wound of Jesus side by his fingers and proclaiming as my lord and my god This is the holy relics of St Thomas and the beautiful statue of St Thomas This is the statue of St Thomas baptizing a Brahmin believer. This is the holy relics of St Mariam Theresia and St Euphrasia. This is the holy relics of Saint Chavra Kuriakos and Saint Alfonsa. This is the altar of Our Lady of Good Health Velangani. This is the altar of Sacred Heart of Jesus. This is the flag post just in front of the church. After the ascension of Jesus, apostles were discussing about who should go to which country for preaching the gospel. When it turns to Saint Thomas for India, initially he refuses to go to India. At that time, Jesus himself appeared to Saint Thomas and convinced him. Here is the beautiful statues about this incident.
This is the cemetery of the church. Here we can see the statues of St. Thomas preaching gospel to Brahmin children. As I told you earlier, St. Thomas established seven churches in Kerala and the list of them are shown here. They are Kodungallur, Paravur or Kotakavu, Palayur, Kokkamangalam, Kollam, Niranam, Chayal, and Tiruvedangodu in Tamil Nadu. Here we can see the history of this church and the places to be visited in this pilgrim center. Mar Sabur and Mar Proth came from Persia to Malankara, that is Kerala, in the 9th century. They built a number of churches in Malankara operating in accordance with St. Thomas Christians. This is the renovated church where the second church was built in 9th century by Mar Sobor and Mar Proth. Just opposite to this church, we can see the remainings of the church wall built by St. Thomas in the year 52 AD. And this is that remainings of the wall. Presently, this church is being used as Adoration Chapel. A Persian cross engraved on a granite stone is preserved in this chapel and it is said that this cross is of St. Thomas age and Mar Sabor and Mar Proth re-established them in the 9th century. And this is that engraved cross. St. Thomas used to baptize the believers in this pond. At that time, most of the believers who accepted Jesus were Brahmins. We can see the beautiful statues here, which resembles the baptism of the believers.
Dear friends, it is our duty to know the history of Christianity in India in this crucial time in our country for Christians. I am also trying to know and to be known. Please share this video to your friends and family members so that they also know the historical truth of Christianity in India. If possible, please do visit to this pilgrim center. Please subscribe to my channel, like, comment and share this video. I hope this video was informative to you. For more videos, please visit my channel. Let us meet in another shrine. Until then, thank you.